the questions are on the Louisville defensive side. It's a returnable boot. Now it's going to be out of bounds, and the flag is thrown. So the talented backs, Damian Harris, the veteran, gets the start, gets the ball, slips as he gets the handoff, and stumbles for it. Think of Aloha's first pass attempt. No, he spun around and dropped for a loss. Little mistake. Third and 13. Think of Aloha from the pocket, flips it short. This is Harris running and muscling out across the 45. Checks it down to his back and let Damian Harris do the work. Cardinals defense was not set at the snap, and Tunga Valoa flips it short over the middle. That's the tight end, Irv Smith. Fakes it. Slap. Caught. Off and running is Devontae Smith, the man who made that in the red zone. World yeah, they're, they're reading this linebacker right here. This is a run pass option. Etheridge commits down into the box. He pulls it out. You see this all the time in college football. They overload the box, and all of a sudden you got a match up to the outside that's favorable. And there's the run after the catch by the hero of that national championship game. This looks like a run all the way for Tunga Valoa. He's not a runner in Hertz caliber, but he right can. Smith motions in. Two has got it. Spins away, throws to the end zone. A risky throw, caught for a touchdown. There are some flags in late. It was Judy on the receiving end. He may have roughed the quarterback, but Tunga throwing on the field is a touchdown. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 17. The 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Dory circled effort. him a little bit earlier. He's right here. Watch him move to the outside. Then decides to come in, commit, and then comes in and hits him low. I, not only did he get tackled, but his head whiplashed onto the turf. Good to see him. The reaction from the crowd is him jogging off the field. Comes in and boom. His head hit that turf really hard. Judy, meanwhile, got loose in the end zone. At the DB, Kane pass turned around. From the defender. Austin Jones, Orlando native, graduate transfer from Temple, won the kicking job. Knocks it through. He held his booty through the end zone. That sack set him up on a third and 13. They convert that, and here's the, the score. was tough against this Bama defense. They just got tougher down seven. Play action. They flip it in the flat, and they've got tight end Mickey Crum wide open. A nice gain across the 35, and now a flag at the tackle there. Big Ten crew tonight. Personal foul. Targeting. Defense. Number seven. The previous play under further review. Jerry McGinn is the referee. That's why the Dicks. penalty is called. Watch him seven. We see this all over college football the last few years, and we've seen it a lot in the preseason with the NFL with a very different rule, but once you lower your head, that's what gets the official's attention. I don't know if he actually made contact. Everything above the face mask. After further review, number seven hit the receiver, hit the receiver with shoulder to shoulder. There is no targeting. Number seven may remain in the game. Dave, do you expect them to throw a lot of targeting flags and then review them? Are they going to be a game? And no penalty. Pass from the pocket. Flips it short again, and it's two completions to Middle Mickey of that defense Crump. now. First handoff of the game inside of Trey Smith, the junior out of Mississippi, in motion to the left. Emma pressure off the edge. Downfield throw off the fingertips of Smith. It was a wheel route. That's a linebacker coverage. You've got a couple receivers that are going to come out here and create a wall, and it frees up the receiver on the wheel route. Watch this pick with the two receivers. It makes it a little tougher for Mac Wilson. Not a high percentage throw there on third and short, but actually put it where his running back, Trey Smith, could have been able to not only get his hands Freshman on it. from Houston, small, very fast guy. They believe he can make a contribution as a returner, as a receiver, and he steps up and makes a fair catch at the 20-yard line. Now in the ball game. They give it to him. And Jacobs, who was about a two-star. But uh, has a great feel for these quarterbacks and receivers. Cardinals swarm the backfield and force Jacobs to scramble. He gets the edge, lowers the shoulder, and makes something out of nothing as he gets it. To him. immediately pressured, sidesteps the rush, takes off, and will make a first down with his feet. Ball comes out late, it's loose, no whistle. Headed to the end zone, D. Smith, signal, touchdown, Cardinals.
hobbling before he hit the ground. Look at the ball. Throwing on the field is a touchdown. Yeah, I think the he's down. Play is under I think he's review. down. Yeah, once his elbow hits, the play yeah. should be dead. Let's bring Dave back in as they take a look at this play that was ruled a touchdown. But you need to look at does that elbow hit the ground before any ball movement? Now he has the ball securely there. To me, he's down. He's got think, control think, of the ball. I think you could see that live. It looked like the, the ball came out because the surface created the. Yeah, I mean, it's he'll be down at the 36. It'll be a first down for Alabama. That was a third down conversion. D. I, Smith, who's an Alabama name. After further review, the runner was down prior to losing the ball. The ball be placed in the left hash. 35 yard line the back of the ball middle of 35 be first and 10 clock operator please reset the game clock to 847 847 it's a heavy Alabama crowd and they approve of a that big arm and he's not afraid to take a shot at some point it's like play action he was looking downfield but again heavy pressure just turns and heaves it out of bounds he's not getting any pressure time at all on Tua Jacobs motions out. He'll get the backwards pass. Was it tipped before it got there? Hits the ground. And it's ruled incomplete. Kane pass. And catch is made downfield. Smith again got free. Gets a first down inside the fourth. Third down. Third down, and you're going to bring some pressure. You get the safeties up tight, and you're leaving your corners on an island. You're either going to make a big play and pressure them, or you're going to leave your receivers or the corners on an island, which is a tough thing to do. It's Sturgill who can run, but a good route, well timed between third, 13 two. and a third and 10 so far. Two back look on first down and taking the handoff is Najee Harris, one of those freshmen who came in and made a big impact in the second half of the championship third game. Third long. Year. In the pocket. This time has good protection. Now it breaks down a bit. Trying to buy time. Gets free and flips it underneath. It's Smith again. The outlet man. And Devontae Smith breaks free. Loses the football. And the Cardinals. It's a scrum. Did he get it back? No. Louisville this time does. Well make How about the hit here by this defense? Flying around. Trying to get the, bar, the ball freed up. It looked like D. Smith got in there 11 to knock the ball free. Etheridge is there as the linebacker. Got a few. Watch, watch 11 come in here. Boom! That hit right there. Like the corner also got involved there, lowered his shoulder, and maybe knocked yeah. that ball. Empty backfield for pass. They take over from the 17. Flips it into traffic, incomplete. Try to. This is Day Williams, part of that running back fight, to move the chains and keep that defense off the field. And now a flag. 12 players out there, it looks like. Legal substitution. Offense. 12 players in formation. Five yard penalty. Third down. A lot of teams would like to play 12. 0 for 2. Now they need 11. Pass in the pocket. High throw incomplete. Fred delivered to. King gets away a high boot, but too short for a return. Waddle steps up and makes it. Meanwhile, back to work from the 45. This is Damian Harris who breaks free. Damian Harris barreling down inside and the, the linebackers from Louisville just get lost here. And you'll see a crease off the double team up through the middle here off the left side. Nice block there. Lester Cotton does a good job. Linebackers to the outside. And Alabama's going fast after the first down. And they flip it in the flat. Catch made by Jalen Waddle and the freshman is Houston Private School Player of the Year. And now Harris picks his way. Now he's got a couple of tied third down again. They need just one yard and Harris slams for a first and goal. Tied again threatening. Tungabaloa, high throw, tried to get Judy. In the NFL. Yeah. Very analytical guy. It's a run all the way. Tua makes a cut and scores untouched. Harris on the block. And the Tide quickly cash in good field position. They are going to score on anybody that they play. Tua stays out there. Yeah, Legal substitution. Defense. 12 players information. Penalties decline. If 13. Yeah. yeah, I think so. If you look at Alabama, their last five games against Power Five teams, they didn't score over 30 in the W. All of us boots it to the end zone, and it's going to be a touchback. Not grim. I was, I was, I was happy to see you guys. <laughs> Pass. 
gets it under pressure and heaves it downfield incomplete. A flag comes out as Jalen Smith. Known as more of a big hitter than anything. Pass interference. Defense, number 15. 15-yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Automatic. First down. Some hand fighting there. Not a whole lot. No. no and, and the fact he got his head turned around. He eventually gets that head turned around. Well, Usually the, the hand fighting. Slight jersey is... grab a little bit there. Yeah. There's a slight jersey grab in the Cardinals. That's Smith in motion. And they hand it off inside. And busting for a nice game is Trey Smith. Maria? Pass immediately pressured, flips it short, and the catch made over the middle by Dawkins immediately. Bigger than 230. Sure does. And he tries to test the middle, but the tie defensive line swarms it out at the defensive line. Guys move on and they get plugged in. Here's a screen in space, and the catch is made out there by Smith. Alive. Tide bring pressure again. Pass rolls away. He's got a lot of room to run. And Jawan Puma pass scoops the for final him. minute of the first quarter. Pass pressured again, flips it over the middle, and the catch is made. It's tough to do, but he got, because he got rid of it so quickly, it gave his receiver a chance, and they have 12 men on the field again. Well, they're 0 for 2, trying to get away with Substitution that. Substitution infraction. Offense. Oh boy. More than 11 players in formation. Ye. And that afford to give away your Ryan Mallett, more than some of the other bigger quarterbacks that he's worked with in the past, as opposed to the electrifying Lamar Jackson that you might get once in your lifetime. So total yards, played with a lot of poise so far in this game. Moved up to Day Williams, and he's wrestled down so tough, and has earned that right to become the coordinator. Fifth season here, pass, chucks it downfield, and it is intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by Deontay Thompson, will bring it out. Thompson has blockers and now is going to be met and not See this safety right here and when you hang the ball too high in the air with his safety on the hash and he's quick he's got a chance to be able to close in and get at least a hand on the ball and Thompson so quick and closing speed comes over and makes the interception Thompson one of the guys that came on started in the championship game part of that rebuilt secondary You're talking about six Quality DBs off Alabama that moved on. Minka Fitzpatrick, Ronnie Harrison, Anthony Averett, Tony Brown. By both teams. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Alabama, number four, his first of the game. Unsportsmanlike conduct on number 83, Louisville, his first of the game. Those fouls will offset. First down. Savion Smith and Mickey Crum. There were some salt quotes up on the walls in the weight room. Najee Harris in the delay bangs up the middle for five yards. If you go to Cass uh, thanks, Cassidy. Uh, we're shot by 11. Tungabaloa on a slant in traffic. Nice catch by Jerry Dunn. Low snap. Collects it. Looks downfield. Running free. Jalen Waddle makes the catch inside the 10. The sign of things to come here because this is a play that took some time. Watch the receiver Judy right here work across the middle, which occupies the middle safety. Take the safety away, open up the middle, and it takes time. Good job by the offensive line, and the true freshman extends at 5'10, 177 pounds to hold on to that football. Finger trick grab in the back of the football. Now Tungabaloa barrels ahead, muscling toward the goal line, and knocked down just short. Impressive. As he follows that beautiful pass up with a quarterback run where he looks like a fullback running over top of the safeties and linebackers almost into the end zone. Harris reaches, lost the ball, tried to break the plane. Now it's Brian Robinson Jr. as they bring in about uh, 14 big dudes up front. Eagle substitution. Louisville, 12 players in formation. For the Hands third time tonight. To First time on defense, but Cardinals are trying to sneak an extra man out there. Guys are making some mental errors. Three tight ends, and Robinson says, I'll find the end zone. The sophomore from Tuscaloosa, one of four talented tailbacks. Check it, it's Harris behind Robinson. And Najee Harris follows Brian Robinson. Gets into the end zone. That's four drives and three touchdowns now for Alabama's offense. 258 yards. 11-24 to go in the second quarter. It's a pretty good start. In the conference. Seven or eight wins oh, okay. overall. 
That'd be a great year for them. Virgil at the goal line. And he's pinned in and knocked down short of the straight 15. seasons. That's also a record. Pass down three touchdowns now has a man wide open and Smith out of the backfield this time he makes the catch gets the block and a couple of times we've gotten the running back Coleman Wilson replaces him at running back pass gets the low snap and then has a man wide open and running across there is Seth Dawson. Made it an easy throw. And a flag just before the snap. Part of snap false start. Offense number 33 five yard penalty first down gets to tie up. Low snap gets away pass tries to cover it and slides down way back at the pass looks at far side dangerous just over it by Minka Fitzpatrick and that secondary learned a lot pass now downfield and this one is going to be out of bounds Thompson thought he had another pick. When he's over there on that hash, you better throw it on a line because he's going to come over. Look how quick he is and accelerating. And I know it's out of bounds. I just love to see how quick he's on that hash. Mental errors ruin a once promising Louisville drive. And King boots it down to the 15 yard line. And there's Waddle who had the big catch earlier. Look out. Bounces off a teammate. Still pinballing around. He's just an electric guy. It's going to be like that when he touches the ball. Disappointed not to get the start. Let's see what he can do. Jacobs gets the handoff. And the timing is blown up by a high snap. And he has Actually, to. Tua looks like he won the job. But there's still room for Jalen Hurts to play. Jalen Hurts throws it underneath there to Henry Ruggs the third. And he scoops out. And there's a. First down hand up to Jacobs. Hey, listen, what, what Tunga Valoa has done, Kirk, seven plays, 65 yards. He doesn't have to apologize for who he is as a player to anybody. Play action across the middle, Jimmy. Three, three this time. Hurts from the pocket, going to take a downfield shot. Judy sprinting, but it's not accurately thrown. Yeah, three. There's no foul to play for Ruff and the quarterback. The hit was to the chest area. Okay, I think they initially thought it was maybe a little bit high. We saw a hit early that was low. This time maybe they thought it was high, but they got together. They could see that the, the, the hit, the contact was in the chest. It wasn't late. So the, the call. Uh, Jay Burns back at the 15-yard line. This is Skylar DeLong filling the big kicking shoes for J.K. Scott, who moved on to the Green Bay Packers. Sideline warning. On Louisville, they're first in the game. First down. So Puma pass. He fake it to him. Pass from the pocket. Flies over the middle and again has a man wide open as the Cardinals work the middle. The Alabama defense. Interesting when they recruited him, they looked at this game. Ty brings some pressure and the ball is deflected at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and long. Maria. On third and 12 pass steps up delivers a low throw and it's broken up in complete the electric freshman again back deep for the tide King with a boot that's off to the side bouncing dead and away from Waddle inside the 20 yard line Andre Francois back at quarterback for the Knowles still a quarterback is Jalen Hurts and it's a handoff inside. To Damian Harris. Due to some of the Alabama fans wanting to get him out of the lineup. This is Najee Harris cutting back and spinning. I totally agree, and you said it well. Cardinals rush four. Hertz has time in the pocket now. Circles around, tries to make something happen on the run, and flips it complete after the 35. And it is a may first come back. Looks like a lineman may have gotten downfield. Receiver. Downfield. Offense. Number 71. Five yard penalty. Third down. It's the veteran center, Ross Pierce Baker. They clock down at five. Cardinals do bring pressure this time. Hurts has to get it out fast and coming back. We have back shoulder catch is Smith, and they get the first down anyway. Bring so you pressure, feel bringing pressure. He's going to bring it here, but here's the man who gets in. Give Jalen Hurts a lot of credit. He knows it's coming. He just kind of leans back and throws it. And this is the kind of ball he can throw. If he's not working through progressions and he's going to make a throw, let his receiver make an adjustment, he makes that throw. And it's incomplete. Tried to get to Harris in the flat. Second and ten. There's a slant, and there's Devontae again. Ball pops up in the air. It's incomplete. A high throw, and he took three receivers to the right. It's an option. Damian Harris has it and slams strongly into Louisville territory. 
Uh, Jay Burns is the returner at the 10. He drops the tip and kicks it high with backspin. And it will be a very effective punt that is down at the 15 yard. See what they do here. Empty backfield. Pass has the ball batted down at the line into traffic. It's a scrum. Looks like an yeah, offensive. Second, second time Williams has gotten his hand up to knock the ball down. 92 right in the middle with that right arm sleeve. Uses that right hand. I don't know if the ball ever hit the ground. Boy, Williams, a player that a lot of times Alabama fans themselves forget about. Raquan Davis, 99, they talk about. Isaiah Bugs, 49. Anthony Jennings has become one of the leaders this year, this defense, 33. Oftentimes, Quentin Williams is, is overlooked, but coaches will tell you he's as good as any of them up front. Lineman did, didn't make the catch. He should have let it hit the ground because you know, the catch lost a bunch of defense. Comes out of that great program at Montgomery Carver High School. Pass from the end zone off the back foot, just heaves it incomplete. Dawkins Alfred. never said he was in the playoff. And the interception yep. against Clemson made 12 tackles against Georgia in the national championship game. Waddle cuts back, breaks a tackle, still alive. And this freshman is going to be able to stretch the lead. They got 27 seconds. Tungabailoa steps up. Look downfield now throws underneath, but they hit as he tried to get Najee Harris is the back Think about Loa looks that direction flips it down to Najee. He slipped as he caught it. He's tackled right this there by coach with Tua and Jalen Hurts Think about Loa from the pocket launches to the end zone caught in stride for a touchdown by Jerry Judy Arm talent that is receiver just on Alabama one on one in the slot Without any help over top with a safety has moved, moved on who's going to be that next guy to kind of take over Look at Tua in rhythm back kind of looks like the rhythm that he had in the championship when he made that throw to Devontae Smith Here's the look. I mean, there's no way That you're gonna ask number 10 Rajon Burns to stay with Jerry Judy didn't have a chance to stay with him did not slow him down off the off the ball and it allowed to to uh, to be able to be right in sync with Judy the cool. beneficiaries of this whole quarterback discussion are the wide receivers because they're getting a lot more chances to make plays now with him that quarterback burns as the seconds tick down this will be the well, he's going to be knocked down three seconds to Little go. League World Series team when they won. They, just the joy of competition and playing and the closeness together, the love that they had. Really, I think something that's wonderful awesome. about that culture. Yeah, it's awesome. He has such a laid back debate is over. Ball of us to boot it away. And taken, that's a fair catch made right at little the goal line for just 11 yards in the first half. Gain 111 total, and they try it on the ground in the first play of the second half. Maria. And there's another handoff and as they test the middle of an Alabama defense with Trey Smith. It'll be another running game, will remain a question mark for this team, even though it's against a very tough defense. Pass on third down, flips it again across the middle. They got a man wide open. That's Des Fitzpatrick. And those misdirection routes have very uncharacteristic of an Alabama defense, but speaks to the youth that they have. And now pass under heavy pressure does a great job to get the ball. Murray. Yeah, remember Lamar Jackson used to make people miss. This is more like a Ben Roethlisberger. Like you, you know, you, you got me. Him. Yeah, you got me, but I'm an oak tree, so you, you really can't bring me down. Dave Williams, deep pistol formation on second and four. There was quick penetration, and a flag comes in. Played in the play offensive. before. Now there is a Holding. flag. Offense number 66 10 yard penalty second down it's the center Bentley and, and have a chance to be consistent second and 14 He's in the zone read a handoff and went away for Deron Payne There's gonna be all eyes on you high expectations good start tonight and pass Bounces off tacklers again, but he's just spinning backwards and now he's gonna be brought down Carter. by yep. Holding offense number 66 penalties decline Again, that was Bentley. This becomes a nightmare for it wasn't the, the most egregious hold I've seen in the pit. Team with a low punt. Waddle at the 20. Already made one spectacular return tonight. Shows the quick burst. Besides <laughs> Alabama are going to be in the bracket. Prepared <laughs> to make that prediction. Damian Harris barrels out across the 40. In the I mean, playoffs. Well, you know, you want to throw one against the board, or you want to try to think what it's going to be. 
Tungabaloa downfield, and it's the tight end, Irv Smith. He runs at a different speed. On Each one of these guys has different tendencies when they run downfield, yet he continues to put the ball on the money. Good effort there by Irv Smith to get his hands underneath that football before it hit the ground. Good concentration and arm strength. It's a 32-yard gain. There's a Louisville defender down. It's Michael Boykin. Low snap. He feels it. And Jacobs breaks the tackle and scoots down near a first number down. seven. To the timeout, second and one. And it's Jacobs picking his way back into the clear and into the end zone. Josh Jacobs. Very, very possible that all those guys, as the extra point is missed. Right, right, so it's 34-0. Yeah, he, he's going to end up bouncing it to the outside, but watch the tight end, Henches here. Does a nice job of coming off the ball, a nice drive block, loses his helmet, but he's not going to give up on the play. He's still looking to try to come up with a block, but Josh Jacobs, his versatility is so impressive. He can catch the ball to the backfield, and, well, he's a different back, obviously, when he is healthy. Darren Sproles like you see the progressive kind of, yeah. pylon cam is that is that a, a kind of reminds you that like low center gravity kind of guy something good for him is that energy drink number four or five tonight it's part of the new rules you make the fair catch anywhere and the ball is placed out at the spot it would have been in a touchback the idea you know it means it means a lot for me you know just seeing him out there hold on wait wait wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. but you know it means a lot for me to be out here you know just to support you know you just got to get the guys together That's he tells me that he talks to you literally every single day. Yeah. Uh, we have an offensive interference, but let's... Yeah, I just got comfortable with it. You know, I just slowed everything down. I was, I was kind of getting right up when I first got in the league, you know, just being so college or, you know, just going to that next level because that's what it is. It's all about worth it. Um, worth it. <laughs> was that your impression of... Papa John Stadium against Florida State. He did. From a pass, tough going on third and 26. Escapes, a flag is down back in that holding zone. Yeah, he'll take that. Personal foul, hands to the face, defense, number 33, 15-yard penalty, be added on to the end of the run, first down. They got Anthony Jennings, so. Been watching him pretty closely tonight. Again, who the guy who's supposed to be the, the, the really the leader of this defense, the edge pressure guy, gets his hand up into the face. The offensive tackle there, Foy. Slower. They come barging up the middle, and it's all they can do to collect the Back load. healthy and making plays along with Christian Miller at that other linebacker spot. Jamie Seavers out there at the moment. Offside. Defense. Number 92 with contact. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Assistance. New defensive coordinator. Pass. Throws it incomplete. It was way... And a lot of new faces in the secondary. He's doing a lot more teaching this year. Yep. He's Not, always done plenty of teaching. Yeah, yeah, but I mean. After the play, on sportsmanlike conduct, defense, number 47, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. He's That's livid now. That's number 47's first on sportsmanlike. That's of the Christian game. Miller. He is livid. Well, well, it was a third down. They got off the field. They pride themselves on getting off the field on third down. Miller's one of those guys who's a leader. He's on the players' council, the guys who give feedback to Saban. That's very, very unusual for him. Yeah, it was just late. Had him off the field. Yeah, twice. They'll clip it short. And once again, the catch is made by Dawkins, and he's off and running. It's tight ropes down the sidelines, and a touchdown. And a whistle before the snap. And a false start. They took Williams into the to check him out. False start. Offense, number 73, five-yard penalty, first down. Would you rank group? Christian Miller checks back in. Pass, steps up, fires across the middle, and a heavy traffic incomplete. They're roaming in center field. Pass on the roll, flips it back. Catch made by Day Williams. The pursuit is good, and they hit it back. Up to 13. Pressure, pass, escapes. Flips to the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown. Kamari Averett, the tight end, gets the Cardinals on the board. Double check if the catch was clean and the feet down. And boom. Yeah, the, Does he have possession? Because the foot is clearly down. It completes the process of the catch. You know, I think he may have got out and spun the ball right in front of the referee. This might be a dead ball foul. It is... 
a touchdown. Avery did a good yeah. job, strong hands to keep possession. Okay. He's got it in the hands of foot goes down, touchdown. Yep. Touchdown. After the play on sportsmen like Condoct, number 11 on Louisville. That is his first of the first of the game. You're right on it, Kirk. He spun it, and that, that cost him 15 on the kickoff. By the way, how about Puma pass for his first to find a big tight end? It's 6 6 target, by the way. Ricky, the lefty knocks it through. So it's a pretty rapid yeah. descent for both Loxley and LePoint. Kickoff because of the penalty is deep, and Josh Jacobs with a running start feels it. Jacobs, big momentum, bouncing off people. Jacobs into the secondary. A convoy escapes and will take it to the house. A lot of flags. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 11, his first, and also number four, his first for leaving the bench area. The 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. So, <laughs> Savion Smith and Henry Ruggs flagged. Leaving the bench area. I mean, that happens almost on every touchdown. This guy's getting the excited. return game. Been a nitpick. Jones did miss an extra point earlier, knocks that one through. For a touchdown? No idea. Is the, it didn't help that he slipped, so it's like uh, well, you can see 10 on 11. See the trajectory right yeah. there, not going up into the air. It's a low line drive, and here he comes. He's picking up momentum as he catches it. Some good blocks. Watches one, two, three. That was the kicker on the last one. They hit a disastrous play. Yeah. <laughs> Fell down, line drive kick, and then bounced off Jacobs. Is our progressive pylon camp? Yeah, the last Bama kickoff return for a touchdown was in a, was in a big moment. Oh, is in the uh, don't tell me. Uh, but I love that he he's not like hiding from it. He owns it yep. because of you know where he is today. All right after the penalties, they got a kickoff from way back, but he's kind of right here with a little bit of a different energy about him. Good point. Day Williams versus Dan Carey battles to get. Pass, heavy pressure, spun down. It'll be a sack and a short lock. Third and 11. Iso on Saban. As pass is pressured again, and a much more inspired Alabama defense. That was third was sack for the Crimson Tide tonight. Jalen Waddell, having seen what Jacobs just did, will not take a chance. Jalen Hurts returns. back at quarterback. Najee Harris is the tailback. They fake it to him, and it hurts. Takes off, looks like a design run, gets a nice block on the edge from us in the, uh, no the opening game. On the play. Second down. Okay, they, they picked that one up. We're just in one. Harris bounces it. He's a guy that he ran angry against the championship game. Carried six times for 64 yards. Think about oh, wanted to go downfield. Now he will. It's Judy running free, broken up now. Inexperienced corners. Defense. Number six. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Yeah, and right hand appeared to get on the shoulder of Judy. Gave him a little stem to the outside. Gets some separation, but ball's thrown a little bit behind him. Good play with the left hand, but watch the right hand holding that left arm down. And even though that, that was super slow mo, officials right there on top of it. Hertz has worked hard to push down inside the 30. Najee Harris. Physical run. And these fresh running backs coming at you too. <laughs> All these guys well rested. Harris stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Hertz faked the option pitch. It's a keeper. You see his strength as a runner, but he tried to bounce it Team instead of field goals in a row when he was the Temple. 50 in his career. Knocks one through. So. A nice moment. Right, return. I, I think Appalachian State may have beat him. Shades of the center in the big house, except this wasn't a blocked field goal. This was about 500 yards in offense for him. Burns knocked down at the 15. After a block in the back, the Cardinals are backed up on first down. Pass has to escape to avoid the safety and just plays. <laughs> Day Williams on the deep handoff. Muscles for a few yards. Past 11, my friend. Yep, there's a pass and a catch made. And running out of bounds is Fitzpatrick, and a flag is down again. Personal foul, face mask, defense. 
Number four. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Xavier Smith is another down. major penalty on the Emma defense. So there's being untimed down here. <laughs> Worth it. This is the final play of the third quarter. Incomplete pass is the time. Down at the bottom is a corner and digs in as a star. Pass. Thompson, but who are some of the guys that you know could make an impact this season? Oh, DT, Dante Thompson, he's definitely one of those guys. You know, he plays a lot. Coach, Coach Pruitt came in. Uh, he's, he's the same thing. You know, he just wanted to see what Coach Pruitt was about. Uh, but, you know, he knows Coach Tox is going to do a great job. And yet he has been this, this game. Uh, so, you know, he's going to probably uh, just put, be hands on like he is. Well, Look at time, Thank Jalen you. Waddle takes off in the public turn. There's a flag down, two of them way behind the play. So the Tides' second special team touchdown tonight likely to be nullified. Then, then, then a push in the back, the back. that Turn wasn't team, even needed. Josh, from the spot of the foul, first down. Josh McMillan, 40 here. Gets. Hurts at quarterback on a slant. Bench for short gain start off 0 and 1 with a loss in South Bend hurts it's a peak downfield and throws it caught by Judy who's knocked out at the 44 yard Keeping line. world drive recap and there are a whole bunch of other drives you could have recapped because they were all good except for one in the first half of Tunga Valoa hurts takes off and then slides the down difference between two is seeing the field and and uh, Jalen's still trying to feel things out. Look how the back is designed for him to do this, to go right down the middle of the field. The safety comes up, and watch Jalen give up on it and take off. You have Najee Harris kind of raising his arm, saying, hey, man, I'm open, I'm open. If he sees that, or if two is in the game, that's a touchdown for Alabama. It's part of the deal they'll dissect. It was not just the stats. It's the play is not made. Robinson. Hangs up in there, gets has been tactical, efficient, complemented the running game. Robinson bangs ahead. You think it could be something much, much, much here, man? As Mike Loxley calls the plays. And Hurts with the throw to the far side. This is Waddle, the freshman, the electric returner, spun down. He's carried himself throughout this controversy and also the fact he's 26 and 2. End up inside, that is Matt field Jones. level, right behind the offensive puddle. He is. An impressive back. Robinson somehow keeps his balance after slipping on a cut and makes something out of nothing. He, you're right. He loses his footing, but he shows you the athletic ability. Keep in mind, he's 6'1", about 225 pounds. Gets that left hand down. And by the way, he's not going to give up on the play. He gets off of that. Now he's going to lower his shoulder and try and go over the top of a defensive back. Point four. Robinson again pulling ahead in a heavy traffic, just not quitting on that run either. Down to the five. Touchdown drive in this opener. Takes off up the middle and squirts for a couple. Jones steps up, delivers to the end zone, off the hands. Of the tight end. Do that. We'll visit their schedule when we come back as this one slides outside the upright. Oh, Thomas Fletcher, the, the snapper on the field goal, and the oh. special teams coach. Way to Pass go after over the middle, and it's an easy interception. Thrown up and picked up by Shaheem Carter, who's got a convoy, and he just might score. Yep, the defense gets in the end zone. How about his reaction? All right, dude. All right, go for one. Shaheem Carter comes from to celebrate the two local kids were a big part of the national championship. This was the easiest pick he'll ever yeah, make. Yeah, it sure was. Pat, pass with one of the. The few errors that he's made all night. He just floated that right over the middle of this defense, and Carter's able to step in front of it. Easy Touchdown. play. Defense is taking one back. Football full time. Big championship weekend. Oh, I can't wait. This is a great week for me with US Open. I'm dialed in. Hassan Hall takes it back and gets to the sideline. Uh oh. Hall is loose. Hurdles over the kicker and gets down yeah, inside. It. By the way, they're not. It's not trending down. It's if anything. They're right in the middle of it. Pass I, to Demonte Parker and trying to get the defense fired up to keep Louisville out of the end zone. It's a 61-yard return. Holden Wilson runs it down inside the five. That's what he's trying to remind them. Second and goal. On the side, the one. You need four and pass. 
into heavy traffic. Never had a chance. Can't look, huh? Yeah. He'll peek over his left shoulder. On fourth down pass in the traffic incomplete. Tried to deliver it. Part of a visit. You may have seen some of it on training days. And you know, Saban told me that Kobe Bryant takes no time off. That's right up Saban's alley. It's right on my alley with my kids. <laughs> quarterback. Kobe. Back in the ball game. They get to do some handing off. This is Brian Robinson getting some touches. Virginia and Tech. Like 12 or 12 years ago, yeah. maybe. Gave him a game. Well, it's been a little spotty for the special teams. It's a low putt. It's going to work out okay because it takes pretty good bounce for Scott. Because he wants ball. to know about Rafa and Roger. Yeah. There's a jet sweep. Serena? Yeah, so the, the people who have maintained hunger. Nice. He mob directing? They, yeah, he will. Okay. So right. will be there. Well, I might come up I there. didn't really expect to talk tennis here and oh, some yeah. snacks for you. Pass. <laughs> Flips it underneath. The Cardinals offense is still playing, and this is the guy that you want to see run. This is 2-2 Atwell. He's a the speedster. Played quarterback in high school, but has that athletic ability to be able to move to the outside, going to the ACC level. You know, and you know, like a lot of teams, has pass fires to the end zone, and it's a touchdown. Caught by Averett over the middle, the tight end. Second Good touchdown. Pete. It's all set up by the 60 Arkansas and Tennessee. Oh, Miss. Near the bottom of the division. They do have LSU November the 3rd in Baton Rouge. No. Mississippi State visits. Auburn visits. No, the Iron's going to be the 74th consecutive win by Alabama over unranked teams. That's, it's a That's staggering comparison. It's called avoiding complacency. Yes. It's why we, we have a little fun with Saban in the South about counter the negative recruiting by saying we also have some fun at Alabama. It's not all a grind. It's not all hard work. And that show did the time. Impressive. Time now for the Ford Wrap-Up Show. Let's go to Cassidy Hubbard.